Time now, 613. In a year of changes, fights, and uncertainty, KPRC2 is embedded into a local Houston ISC school to document the educational reforms this year. We are calling our special coverage Focus on Fleming. We chose Fleming Middle School because of the school's demographics and because many of them go on to one of the district's lowest performing high schools. While each campus, teacher, and student in HISD have unique experiences with the new education system. Yeah, our goal is to give you an up close, unfiltered look at the impact of the changes. This morning, KPRC2's Candace Burns takes us inside a classroom to see what one teacher is seeing. Oh, what was our Because they are both easy. I teach sixth grade accelerated. We shifted two times to the honors math and regular sixth grade math. It's point one two five. It's point one two five. It's Lindsay Mason's first year teaching at Fleming Middle School. I've been in the classroom for 11 years now, and I love math because it's a language. Angel, how do we say 100 in Spanish? She's working under the structured new education system. Her lessons are always pre-planned and the same as every sixth grade math teacher. A camera is always running in her classroom, and she uses a timer to make sure the day's learning objectives are taught at the right pace. HISD's new superintendent says the objective of this model is to narrow the achievement gap between black, brown, and white students. 80 is passive. Somebody, I, I saw somebody write, they got a B. That's cool too. It's been a, a huge transition. In the beginning, it was literally changes every day. It was almost like, wait, hold on, stop. I mean, you gave an equivalent, yeah, but what are they doing with that 25%? The big challenge was changing what you were used to. Pacing, because it's it's quick. It's like to the T timing. When I spoke with the students, that was one of the things that they said the pacing is that they were learning, but it was going really fast. Yes, it goes, it goes fast. We have the autonomy and the freedom to, you know, when they give us the information, adjusted as we need it. You know, you got you to gotta season it to make sure they get the meat of it in 45 to 55 minutes, and then they can show mastery immediately. Okay. Let's go to question number one. And then for those who don't show mastery, they get another mini lesson for 35 minutes. So what is four times 20? Four times 20 is? 100, four times 20. 20. Wait, four times 20. 80, 80, 60, 80. 80. How do you maintain the balance between the rigor mm -hmm. and the support in the classroom to make sure the kids diverse needs are met. I'm willing to take a licking if I have to stop the lesson and do it over and teach it over. You know, our first assessment, we had some low numbers. Um, it was it was a little bit disheartening. I'm gonna show you the standard analysis. Okay. So this is basically the teaks from the first assessment uh -huh. where they did not even get near mastery. Things they should know on the grade level. Yes, okay. this is all on grade level. We take an assessment every three weeks. This is the standards from yesterday. Wow. Wow. <laughs> this is the standards from yesterday. Same kids. Same kids There's from still yesterday. Some on the red. Yes, there's still some people, and that's expected. Right. And, and the red does not mean failure. Right. It just means not mastered, because mastered is anywhere from 70% and higher. So I went from none mastering to 41% in three weeks. And in one class, I had 70% mastery. So I was like, yeah, so it's working. Kids thrive in structure, so if they have a more structured environment, then it's fine. It's, it's new education, but it's still education. What is your vision for this school, for this district, for these students? To have a different taste left in you know the community's mouth. Um, I don't want them to think that because of this zip code they can't learn, they aren't learning, they aren't capable. They don't choose their zip code, and their zip code doesn't determine their aptitude. Candace Burns reporting. So far, we've heard from Fleming's principal, a parent, and student in our special coverage. You can watch those stories and learn more about this Focus on Fleming series and the HISD takeover. You can text the word Fleming to 866-996-5772. You get a link straight to your phone, and you can text back a question or an idea you have, a story to share. All right.